Hi Brandy, I am so excited that you're joining us for Val's what's turned out to be her launch party. How about that? That is so exciting. I cannot wait to share these books with you tonight and neither can she. So you have a little one who is five who loves princesses and books. So I'm going to show you some of my absolute favorites and my daughter who also loves princesses, absolute favorite books that um, maybe you haven't seen yet and you might be interested in. So here's one. This is our pop-up fairy tales collection. I love these, they're so beautiful. But what I like is for five years old, these work perfectly. They are beautifully illustrated pop-up books. They give great dimension and it gives something a little bit more for those older kids to really look through. Love those. Not quite ready for pop-ups yet, That are where they're gonna get torn. Our lift the flat books are Great for that. This is Peek Inside a Fairy Tale, The Little Mermaid. There's Peek Inside a Fairy Tale, Sleeping Beauty. Um, oh my goodness. Let's see Beauty and the Beast, Princess and the Pea, Cinderella. There are so many of them. I guess I have them all right. Again, my daughter loves these. Um, so again, beautiful illustrations. I love that there are see-through places. That's the Peek Inside part. And in fact, there are small or rather large a small number of rather large flaps in these guys as well. They're beautiful. Another one that I love, this series is called The Masked Fairy Tale Series. And this happens to be Little Red Riding Hood. This is one of my daughter's favorites. Boop, there they go. There are actually masks that you can use while you're reading it. And it gives you a little bit of instruction in the beginning. It says to use those masks every time you see the words. So it's a story like any other Little Red Riding Hood, but you have that combination of the masks. I actually love the illustrations in here. I think it gives it a little bit of visual. Um, it's just really interest in that regard. They're just so cute. So check these out. They are the Mask Fairy Tale series. We love them in our house. Okay. Next, at five, she's probably either just started reading or will be starting to read soon, and these are a great way to experience that. This is the Esborn book of Princess Stories. These are actually going to be dual readers. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, a dual reader is going to have a line of text that the child will read, and then a line of text that the adult will read. How that works is that it simply gives them that modeling of fluency on what you're reading, it gives them more in-depth information than what they can read at the time. And then when they're done with the story, they can go back and just read that top line all the way through, and the story makes perfect sense. So it's a great way to sit with your child and read with them, as well as helping them to learn fluency and to learn how to read in general. So we love these. This one is, uh, again, a the Princess Story, the Offsporn Book of Princess Stories. It is illustrated by Stephen Cartwright, so every page is going to have a little yellow hidden deck. There are multiple stories in here, so we love that one too. Last but not least, I wanted to mention some activity books that are great princess books. Um, one of my favorites and one of my daughter's favorites is the Little Sticker Dolly Dressing Books. We, we have big Sticker Dolly Dressing Books as well, but the Little Sticker Dolly Dressing Books we love because we can throw them in my bag and then we can use them while we're out and about. So one of the great things about this is they have got the story in the book and then this is page eight and nine. So you would go over to page eight and nine in the sticker part. My daughter has not done it yet. And you can actually tear these out there, perforate it, and then you can use that as a bookmark while she's working on it. And then she doesn't have to keep flipping back and forth, which can be a problem sometimes. So we love our sticker, little sticker dolly dressing books, but the Snow White, there's multiple ones that are in that princess realm. So check these out. And last but not least, we have our magic painting. This happens to be the Ma Rapunzel magic painting. We have several fairy tales that are magic painting. Magic painting is wonderful because I'm not going to <laughs> show you any pages my daughter has done, but um, this the idea is that there's the story on the bottom and all they use is water and there's a paintbrush that comes attached to the front. All they use is water. I put it in a bowl and I, I actually tear the pages out. They're perforated. I actually tear the pages out and I put it down on a piece of cardboard. You don't have to do that. You can use the pages in the back, fold it over, and they can paint right in the, the book. I usually have two kids trying to do it at the same time, so I tear them out so they're not 
uh, fighting over who's doing it first. And then I hang them to dry outside. And when the book is all done, I mix them all up and I lay them out and they get to put them in order. My son can read them and my daughter sits there and she does it based on the pictures. So it's a great reading comprehension skill as well. So I hope that helps. I cannot wait to see you this evening. Have a great day.